Okay, so I've been doing some research. Pretty much what I found is there's this place that's doing hot pot, but not any hot pot. They're doing it with the sea quack. Now, it's out all the way in District 9. If you don't know where District 9 is, go out to District 2 and go out even further. I'm not really even sure how it's Saigon anymore at that point. But I was thinking, you know, the low price for the hot pot will make up for the grab fee. And I've never been to District 9, so it's gonna make it a win-win for this video. Of course, it doesn't open till tonight, so we gotta do something to satiate my hunger right now. We're gonna eat a few things around city center and then later tonight, head out to the hot pot. So, y'all know it's Max. I guess this research session is over. And we're gonna get our day started. All right, we're here at the first spot going for Bun Nem Nung and Bala Lop. Now, I have not eaten Bun Nem Nung or Bun Tit Nung since I've come to Saigon and y'all, that is like a sin, a crime. I should be ashamed of myself. It's taken me this long to eat something like this. Anyways, we're going to a place right here. We're kind of like on the back side of District 1, even below the backpackers area. Right here on the water, right across the water is District 4. A place I've read some good reviews about, I've never been to, but they're open all day and a random time of the day and they're pretty much full. So that's always a good sign. I can smell the grilled up meat right now, the aroma. Oh. It's got me where I can't think, so I'm just gonna shut up and get in here. Wow. Oh, mum nem, come mum nem. Wow, yo. Mum nem, gong quá. Mum nem luôn. Yeah, don't worry. We have bún mum nem. Cái này là nem, tê, chà yo. They do a plethora of things here. This is. I actually don't know what to order right now. I'm so hungry. <laughs> it smells so delicious. I may. I'm gonna try to dabble a little bit in everything. Oh, tên chà yo. Don't worry. Tôi muốn chà yo. much delicious smoked meat and me being this hungry right now was a bad combination well good for them because I ordered a lot <laughs> bad for me because we starting off the day hot or I should say like a lot of food yeah come on you my little can I timba timba mom nim mom nim yeah don't worry So how I ended up ordering was like a mok tau bun of their actual tap cam. So it's gonna be their nim and their actual fit in there with the mohen on top. And you actually see got some top mo as well, which would be the actual fried pork belly over the bun noodle. And then they actually put the herb and all the lettuce and the mung beans on the side, which I really like. I can just kind of slowly add. And I also got the bala lo. This is just absolute perfection. Now, we do have the nook mom with the kaiko and the carrot and the sugar and all that mixture, but I came here for the mum nim. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Now, these are always the chopsticks that you know it joints old school at. Look at that, they don't come together. This is gonna be the skill testers here. I'm gonna start with the chai, y'all. Look how tiny it is. Super dark brown color. Let's take a small bite and see what's on the inside. Mm. I love it, actually nice, crispy. Just gonna give you that crunchy component you need with the dish. Not a lot of flavor coming from it. Looks like your typical filling. Well, let's get after the main start of the show. So we got the actual mum nim, and then I put just a little bit of the pickled veg in there as well. Mm. Mm. They're doing the mum nim just how I like it. Finally chopping some pineapple and putting it in there so you get that sweetness. 
with that fishy fermented funkiness. And then you get it over the refreshing rice noodles. You get a piece of meat every now and then. Speaking of the meat, let's go in and try it. Sometimes those little pieces can get really fatty, really gristly, and I really appreciate them for not making it too fatty. Marinated it for a long time so that sugar soy sauce mixture has seeped into the meat. You get the char on the outside. Gone. Now we gotta try next dish that they're doing here, which is the ba la lo. Ba being the actual beef, la lo being the leaf they're wrapping it in. Now, a quick rant. This is not betel leaf. This is something completely different. Betel leaf, a little bigger, gonna give you a bitter flavor. With this la lo, very common in Southeast Asia in Vietnamese cooking in the South, you see it wrapped it in beef a lot and then grilled. In the North, you see it kind of wrapped in pork and fried. The beef mixture, it's almost become like a paste because they chop it and grind it so much. Putting a lot of sugar in it, which I normally wouldn't like, but since you do get the pepperiness from the lalo, and then you are getting the smokiness, I do find all around it is balanced very well. Only one thing to do after that, add it all in and get after it. The nim though, so soft, mm, a little bit buttery. Again, on the sweeter side, not too much of a char, but dang good. Wow, holy smokes, that was delicious. I'm kind of trying to figure out, was it that delicious or have I just not eaten that in so long? Yeah, it hit the spot pretty darn good. It's got the mum nim. That's like a 10,000 point bonus for me right there. But I'm gonna mask up. I got one more little small thing I wanna eat uh, before we head to the Lao Si Huac. So mask it up, get a grab, head there, check it out. Ah! Y'all make fun of me for not having a mask that fits. Now I got the one that's way too tight. that ride over here y'all we are at the next spot going to a little place doing the Ban Bao Ting Chung Mui so they've been over here for I think about 30 years very very special supposedly very delicious We're about to get in here and uh, try a couple of them out so it looks like they have three types of the actual Ban Bao they got the Ban Bao Dok Bit which is gonna have the Chung Mui the salted egg they got the Ban Bao with the dip which would be meat and the Ban Bao Pad Thai and then they're actually doing the Ban Tio as well I think I see some Ban Kuei they got all kinds of little fried goodies. Yeah, don't worry. When you watch a good dumpling maker, y'all, it's like poetry in motion. That is just beautiful. The pleat on that. Oh. Some people love going to sporting events. I can just watch talented chefs work all day. So much skill in that that we take for granted. That's not easy. And the little mixture looks like actual woodier mushroom, pork, and then you can see they got the little quail eggs, and then the actual salted egg as well.
Ở đây bao nhiêu năm rồi? 30 năm Wow, à. lào giá Xin xin ra 1990 Xin xin bươi I saw the schoolgirls do it and I was like, oh, that's brilliant. I'm gonna take a spot right here. It's actually really cool, really nice. I'm still downwind of all the fried food. So let's see what all I got. Oh, come on you, got another year, huh? Don't worry. Wow. Come on in. Okay. Vietnamese hospitality. Saw me struggling, brought out the table. First thing I noticed is the consistency of that dough. It's just kind of crackling in my hand from the outside, but still feels nice, light and airy and puffed up on the inside. And this sucker is heavy. This has almost got to be the dog bit because it is stuffed and loaded. I feel like it's got eggs in it. It feels like it's a little bit uneven. Give it a few low down cools. Oh. Oh my God. This was definitely the dog bit and I got a big old raging pot quail egg yo that is delicious it's so light so airy so fluffy it's not greasy it doesn't even feel like it's fried i can see that salted egg yolk hanging out on the side right here so i'm gonna give it a try mm. Mm. Oh. this is gonna sound really ironic the salted egg yolk is not too dry almost gives you like a cheese like mouth feel golly this is delicious but i can't get over the key in the winter to this is their dough. The dough is on point. And then experience, frying it up perfectly with a delicious dough, flavorful ingredients. Win, win, win. This should be the pate. Okay. This bun bao team is making all the other bun bao team look like amateurs. This is a true professional bun bao team. Oh wee. He said number one. He's a smart man, you should believe him. It's number one. Goodness gracious. You know, you, uh, wow, I just, well, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm in love. <laughs> I can't talk. Delicious. Now, I'm gonna rest a little bit and I will meet y'all tonight at the Lao with the Si Huac. And we are out here. Oh my gosh, this is like past the suburbs. We almost out in the country again, y'all. It took about 35 minutes on bike and we found the place. They are opening right now. Owner said, you're early. I said, trust me, I know. That's how I'm wired. That this was written on the blog post I read is completely different, so I thought I was at the wrong spot. Luckily, my Vietnamese has improved enough where I'm like, do you sell the hot pot with the si whack here? And they're like, yeah. I was like, is this the right address? They're like, yes. Woo! Cái này là chà lao si quá. Đây đúng rồi lao si quá. Đây là sườn. Đẹp quá. Thơm quá. Ồ, chà dơ si quá. Si quá. Rồi. And you can tell it is just fatty and rich. I love that I can see the pineapple floating at top. You can see little bits of meat and fat and just everything immersing and marrying and coming together in this huge pot. Rau. 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 Rau muống. Rau muống. Cải xanh. Nèo nèo. Nèo đắng. Ngò gai. Ngò gai. Bạc hà. Bạc hà khác. Khác nào? Bạc hà ăn canh chua, oh. kèo nèo ăn lẩu. Oh, thôi bé, ok. Let me tell you, learning Vietnamese if you come to Vietnam will be the greatest investment you ever make in your life. Like people were friendly before, but when you speak a local language, it's just ridiculous how friendly they are here. Instantaneous family member. Đẹp hơn nha. Yeah. <laughs> 
Stop it. Stop it. That is insane. There's nothing left else to do. It is here. I just gotta sit down, piled into the actual lao, and get started. Okay, here we go. Let's try to get this in. Oh my gosh. Just set it on top. Try to get in those juices. This is incredible. And look at these plated scissors. As if I didn't feel like a king already for eating this. Open her up. The camera angles are not being done great today, y'all, because uh, I'm gonna be working good enough to get this done. Oh, yes. Here we go. I just love that you have all this sea whack, all these little rib bones, and then they're still throwing things in here like tofu. Oh, the tofu's soft, falling apart. Gonna be okay. Okay. Honestly, I would leave this in there a little bit longer. I think I got a little excited, got a little bit premature, pulled it out a little early. Man, just throw it back in the pot, let it cook, we'll pull it back out. Now you can go through the scissors and like cut it off if you want to. That's what I'm gonna do this time. Ooh, that bone's so hot. All these scissors are like a godsend. Right into the momentum. They're both delicious. I think the actual momentum's more for the vegetables. And then the fermented tofu with the chili is more for the sequat. Now here's the best part about sea whack. Money by. I'm a shut up. I know I got another rib in here somewhere. Found it. That was much more civilized. Was it as fun as taking the bites off the bone? Heck no, but you know. First one's on me, that was my mistake. Premature bite all the way. Let that get in there, get in that broth and cook. I mean that it was just butter, absolute butter. Enough meat that's dark, deep, and rich, but then you get it with that funky fermented tofu, that kick from the chili oil. I still can feel the flavor on my mouth because it's so oily, it's still coated in my mouth. Those spices aren't leaving, they're not going anywhere. I'm serious though, the fun's when you go hands in. The noodles good, but this is a sea whack. So when you come here, you get on these bones, not on that cartilage, not on that fat, get some meat. That's what you're here for. I let that cook a little bit. I forgot about it. I don't know what to say. This is literally the ribs. It's a sea whack. It's specials and mum nim. I mean, it just does not get any better than this. You're far out, it's not the city anymore. You're getting more out into the country. This is life, this is Vietnam to me. This is everything. Was that not the most satisfying thing ever just to watch?
Oops, it's time to fill up these sauces again. All right, y'all. There ain't nothing different going on here. It's kind of the same thing over and over again. So I'm not gonna bore you with the video, but I got a lot to get after here. So I'm gonna focus on this. I'll catch y'all when I get done. Gave it a good run. Cleaned up my sea whack. Oh my gosh, these people are too friendly. Drinks are on him, but I paid for the food. Y'all, that is rich. You gotta have some, you gotta love some fatty, heavy flavors for that. And if you do, you're gonna be in heaven to come here. Man, just everything hit perfectly. Super friendly guy. He just wants me to come back and bring friends. That's all he asked. He said, come back and bring friends. So good people out here in Vietnam as always. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. As a Max, catch you at the next one. Peace.